Today, we'll be experimenting if ground tech artillery's ability in War Thunder, where participants have to locate on a map where to drop it, can be destructive enough to take out all ships before the array of 100 to 300 millimeter cannons can take out all ground tech while in open exposed positions. Will blue water ships be able to eliminate all ground tech in time, or will the showering of artillery shells on ships bring them to the water's floor? Today, we find out. We'll be doing three rounds. First, we'll test out how well one ship can last as 35 ground tech units with arty abilities drop it right on the ship while it tries to take out exposed ground targets. Second, we'll try a mystery amount of ships against 35 ground units with arty. And then last, we'll add or remove ships depending on what happens in round two. Only ground tech vehicles with the ability to choose where to drop arty were allowed to participate. We learned that Artie couldn't be chosen to be dropped very far, and therefore ships needed to be very close to land in order for this to be possible to test. Once ready, the ship had to stay in one position, and the amount of downward arrows you're about to see when this starts is War Thunder's way of identifying where and how many participants are choosing to drop artillery there. Let's see how one ship can do. And that is it! The ships are coming to its end in 29 seconds, which is interesting given that the time already has dropped after a strike is called by a player only lasts 10 to 13 seconds based on crew skills. With how close ships needed to get and with the damage spread artillery dropping can have, we decided for fun to see how 15 ships can last while trying to take out 35 ground units dropping already on them. Let's see what the outcome will be. That's only one ship down while only 19 ground targets are left waiting for their artillery to reload again for about two minutes. Yeah, that was too many ships. Ground units didn't stand a chance. In our final round, we dropped the amount of ships to 7 against 35. Let's see how this changes things.
to the last three ships left against ten ground units left. Let's see who can finish off who first. With all ground targets being destroyed and only two ships left, this was quite the experiment. Hope you all enjoyed today's vid and thank you all to all those that helped. You all stay cool and keep sailing.